the tragic disaster of the 1919 Boston Molasses Flood. Let's dive into one of the most unusual and devastating events in American history, the 1919 Boston Molasses Flood. In this video, we'll examine the factors that led to this disaster, its aftermath, and the far-reaching effects that it had, resulting in the loss of 21 lives and numerous injuries. On January 15, 1919, a catastrophic event occurred in a working-class neighborhood of Boston, Massachusetts. This was a time when the United States was enjoying a period of economic boom, and the demand for industrial products was at an all-time high. One such commodity was molasses, a thick, dark syrup widely used in the production of rum and other products. The Purity Distilling Company, a subsidiary of the United States Industrial Alcohol Company, constructed an enormous storage tank that contained over 2 million gallons of molasses, located in the heart of the city. The Catastrophe On January 15th, the massive molasses storage tank ruptured, releasing an enormous wave of sticky syrup that inundated the surrounding streets and structures. This wave was reported to be approximately 25 feet high and traveling at a staggering speed of 35 miles per hour. The force of the deluge knocked buildings off their foundations and numerous individuals were swept away in the flood. Many victims were trapped in the thick substance, resulting in suffocation or drowning, while others were crushed by debris or hit by airborne objects. The death toll eventually climbed to 21 with over 150 people sustaining injuries. The Rescue Mission Following the calamity, an extensive rescue operation was initiated, involving thousands of individuals working tirelessly to search for survivors and clear the rubble. The cleanup task was made even more challenging by the fact that the molasses had congealed in the frigid temperatures, making it even more challenging to remove. It took several weeks to clear the affected region, and the stench of molasses persisted in the neighborhood for several months. An examination into the root cause of the disaster was initiated, and the investigation found that the tank had been poorly constructed and maintained. The steel plates used to build the tank were too thin, and the rivets holding them together were weak. The tank had also been filled too quickly, causing the molasses to ferment and produce gas, which put additional stress on the structure. Despite warnings from workers about the danger, the company had continued to operate the tank, putting profits ahead of safety. The aftermath. The molasses flood had far-reaching consequences for both the community and the entire city of Boston. The families of victims filed lawsuits against the United States Industrial Alcohol Company, resulting in one of the lengthiest and most intricate legal cases in American history. Additionally, the incident sparked greater oversight and regulation of industrial practices and prompted the establishment of the Boston Building Department to supervise construction and safety standards. The disaster also had a psychological impact on the community, with many residents reporting nightmares and a lingering fear of molasses. Conclusion In conclusion, the molasses flood of 1919 remains one of the most perplexing and heartbreaking events in American history. The catastrophe was a result of a combination of human mistakes, disregard, and greed, leading to the loss of innocent lives. Though the disaster is sometimes overshadowed by other more widely known calamities, its effect on the community in the city of Boston cannot be overstated. It serves as a reminder of the criticality of proper safety protocols and the importance of prioritizing people over profits. Thank you.